You know, there are so many different types of plants and things to photograph in the Sonoran Desert. It's uh, hard to sometimes find a subject or find areas to shoot, but we've come out to a place that has a special kind of cactus, one that's so unique. And we've come to an area that it's the northernmost part of where this type of cactus grows. It's got such a distinct and unique shape that uh, I'm excited to, to come back here and, and spend a few days photographing it. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this place. So as I'm trying not to get, well, oh, already got one. Yep. Well, as I'm trying to stay out of the Choya cactus here, these organ pipe cactus are so unique and they're so cool. One of the funny things that we noticed about them walking around here is when they die, it looks just like wood. It looks like, you know, a tree died and it, it just, with you know some spikes on them and stuff, it's pretty crazy. It looks like it has bark and everything on there. Uh, it's pretty interesting. We weren't really planning on shooting uh, anything for sunset today. We just barely got here. We're gonna be here for a few days, but we decided to make this big loop on this, uh, this road here. And we pulled over just as the sun's getting ready to set have a cool little scene with uh, some Troy cactus in the foreground and I have two of these Oregon pipes in the midground here. Got some clouds in the sky back there, might catch some color. Yeah, it's a really nice little scene here. I five, you know, figured I'm out here, might as well take a shot even though I wasn't really planning on it. So it's a nice little warm-up shot, nice way to start the trip. Well, we're doing one of the hardest things in landscape photography, and that's coming to a location you're not familiar with and trying to get a sunrise, especially when you're trying to get that pre-sunrise colorful burn in the sky, which looks like that's what might happen. These organ pipe cactus are pretty hard to photograph too. They're hard to get separation on. The way they grow and where they grow on the sides of mountains, there's just a lot of uh, clutter in there. So that's gonna be a challenge the next day or two. We learned that kind of last night. Anyway, beautiful morning, nice and chilly. And um, yeah, we're gonna go out and do a little hike. having such a hard time where you see most of the Oregon pipe cactus are on the sides of rocky hills. So it's such a steep slope and there's just no way to skyline them to get separation from the background because of the mountains that are behind it. We got about 20 minutes, maybe 30 before the sun comes up. I walked up on this hill behind me here all the way from the backside all the way up and over. Now I'm down to a valley. I have one right here that's not too bad. This one looks all right. That could be like a, an emergency. I kind of scouted that one out a little bit. So if I don't find anything else here in this little valley, I think I'm going to shoot that one there. I'm trying to find one that has a really nice shape to it too. You know, there's a lot of them out here that have, you know, dead branches or dead limbs on them. And they don't look that great. They're not visually, they're not pleasing. You know, and they got these little ones like this here. So it's really hard to find these big, nice, 
shaped ones. So I'm rushing back to that other, my backup, because I took a shot over here. I didn't like it so much. Got a big Ocotillo in the way. All right, we got enough uh, glow in the scene now. I think I'm ready to take the photo. It's a really nice shaped cactus. It's just not a big one. The good thing about this is it's almost completely isolated. There's a little bit of this hill in the background that kind of cuts it in half. And the hard part about these is these organ pipes, they start at the bottom, right? So you want to capture everything. And in order to do that, you got to get really low or there's got to be like a drop off behind the cactus. Uh, if not, then you know you lose some of that depth with these mountains in the background here a little bit, but I'm okay with this one. I've moved to a spot where I can see most of the limbs uh, coming up and I have a mountain on the in the background over toward the left. So that's going to fill up the kind of the top left third of the frame. And then on the right third, I have this beautiful cactus in front of me here. So got some really nice glow in the sky right now. Uh, I'm zoomed in to where the cactus, which is my subject, is taking up most of the uh, the image. You know, taking up a full third. I mean, it's taking up all of it. So it's very clear to the viewer that this is my subject. You know, I'm not trying to include a bunch of other stuff in there. Very simple. One subject. Nice glow in the background. Nice colors. I'm pretty happy with this one. So I got some nice light on this peak back here. I was uh, shooting the opposite direction towards the sun. And the same uh, organ pipe cactus that I'm shooting this way, I look behind me and there's some a nice alpine glow on the mountain peak behind me. And it's a really nice shaped one. So I just kind of flipped around and I put on my 50 millimeter prime. So I was having to up and back and up and back to try and get it right. So I have uh, the organ pipe on my left side uh, on the third. And then on the right third is uh, that mountain with the glow on it. I have these two subjects that are providing a little bit of visual attention there with each one and taking up equal amount of space on each side of the frame. And because this organ pipe is much bigger and much closer, it attracts the eye, but your eye also goes towards that bright spot, which was the Alpen glow on this peak. So you have this, uh, this nice tension there between the two subjects. It actually works out pretty nice. There's a yeah. the lens. What's that? There's a the lens here. Let me just throw my brand new lens on the ground in a hurry. Well, that was a nice little uh, sunrise, man. That was uh, the good conditions. The subject is a little tough and you know, one of the goals of this trip and, and every trip when I'm out here in the desert is trying to get one of these photos to make the book, you know, a candidate for the books. That's the goal. I don't know if I have that yet, but that's gonna be one of the goals on this trip. So now I think it's time to head back to camp and make some second breakfast. back for lunch and second breakfast. I worked on some of the photos from this morning and yesterday's sunset and I'm happy to say that I I'm pretty excited about the photos that I've got so far. You know, I wasn't quite sure on the back of the camera. I liked them, but I wasn't wasn't quite sure, you know, what I was gonna have. Sometimes I felt a little rushed, and when I rush, it can be kind of difficult to say whether I like a photo or not, because sometimes I can look at it and I know that I was rushed in the composition or something, you know, I just, it wasn't right. But I actually really like the photos a lot, which is a good thing because it's looking like we're not going to have any clouds for sunset. Right now we're taking a different road in the area here, looking around for some more Oregon pipe cactus. Let's see what we can find.
What's up guys? So we just saw the time lapse on the back of the camera. I left my D850 out here in the park while we drove, you know, 40 minutes away to camp, which is nerve wracking. But I wanted to capture tonight was the last night of the kind of the apex of the meteor shower that's been happening here. I think I got a couple of uh, meteors in the shot, which is pretty cool. So we're back out here for our last morning. We got a big hillside over here with a bunch of cholla and a bunch of Oregon pipe cactus. So we're going to try and find something to shoot here. We got no clouds in the sky, of course, but we're going to try and make the best of it. This morning I want to keep things simple. I want to find just a nice simple composition. One big nicely shaved Oregon pipe cactus. I'm going to face the opposite direction of the sun. That's what I'm looking for. Not too worried though. I've got my shots that I've, you know, I'm really happy with what's happened so far. Um, so I'm not really too worried about that or about this morning really. But uh, it was funny last night we had coyotes in the, uh, in the camp and our cat, <laughs> Roy, he just fluffed up like a big fur ball his tails all whipped out and puffed out because he could hear the coyote out there he can hear him sniffing and whining and woke chris up because chris could feel all the fur on her on her face and they can hear them all off a big pack of them off in the distance which is you know it's normal out here in the desert you know we hear them all the time whenever we go out we hear them and stuff but it was pretty funny seeing the cat's reaction to uh <laughs> to the the coyote outside the trailer this morning all right i guess i gotta find a composition here let's go all right i found a really really epic Oregon pipe cactus all by itself uh, I've almost got it completely skylined there's some mountains deep in the background there but that's okay I'm really nice color in the sky I'm facing the opposite direction of the sunrise so I'm getting that nice belt of Venus you know the earth shadow some really nice soft pastel colors this is just gonna be a very simple shot just the cactus by itself nice colors in the sky a vertical composition and it's just all about the cactus that's it very simple uh, F11, shutter speed's one second, and ISO 64. Two second timer, and voila. As you guys can see, I have my new Canon R5. It just came in a few days ago, and I just started using it uh, two or three days ago. So I'm still getting used to it. That's probably the why I'm not talking so much to the camera. I'm sorry about that, but still trying to figure out how this uh, this beautiful beast works. Right here I was setting up on this slope and it's covered in teddy bear choya cactus. Here were two uh, mountain peaks in the background and one of them is pretty cool. It looks like a witch's hat from some angles. I shot it before a few nights ago and I think it looks pretty good. And I also now try to get a few different angles. I had one specific scene in mind that I saw just when you passed here by the road, but um, I don't think it worked out, but I tried my best. I'm also uh, shooting on one new lens, which is the uh, 24 to 70 2.8 for the wide angle lens and the telephoto lens. I'm still using the old EF lenses that I own. The one RF lenses that I'm looking at are not yet released or they're on back order. So right now this is what I'm working with. There's an adapter that I got, which was pretty cheap. I think it was around $80. $80. So it wasn't very expensive and it works great. Uh, autofocus still works and it transfers all the information from the raw data to the photo too. So that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Thank you. 